Okay, so hello everyone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk today, you know, about uh, about engineering, right? I'm gonna share with you a couple of uh, real stories on how companies are solving energy challenges using the power uh, of the crowd, right? And um, well, let me uh, introduce uh, myself very briefly. My name is Enrique Ramirez. I am the founder of uh, Enomotive, and Enomotive is the first crowd engineering company in the in the world. Right? And um, what we do is essentially is we connect uh, companies that have uh, challenges, engineering challenges, with, uh, with uh, engineers, engineers from all over the world, right? And then we create a place where everybody wins, right? Where companies can solve their challenges and engineers can, can learn, can enjoy doing what they like to do, and also they can, they can win prizes or even get a job. And um, for doing that, we, we have essentially three things, right? We, are, we, we have a community of engineers, uh, and uh, we have uh, like uh, 4,000, more than 4,000 people from uh, different countries. And uh, we have a platform where we uh, run engineering competitions. And then, uh, well, we have also uh, a very particular process, a particular process which is adapted in order to, to make uh, things happen. Well, so we are a startup, right? So uh, our, we have a life which is very intense. Uh, has been uh, really uh, very interesting uh, uh, this uh, last year and a half, right? And we have had, well, we went into, into, into the market uh, by February uh, 2015. And then we have had investors, we have been incubated. You know, we have, uh, well, we, we won our first uh, customer, our first uh, company. And, uh, well, we are also growing our community of engineers, you know, many things. And we have had awards. Uh, we have been named uh, the Entrepreneurship uh, Award of the Year in Spain uh, from the engineering community. And, um, but well, today, uh, today the, the challenge is to, uh, again, no, to explain you how, how, we can, how we can crowdsource uh, engineering challenges, energy challenges, and, uh, and then what, what, what happens, right? So what, what can we get from, from this? Okay? So, well, uh, we do engineering challenges, uh, but uh, what, we, what we have seen is that uh, uh, we have a lot of challenges related to energy. Uh, around 30% of the challenges that, uh, that we uh, solve, they are related to energy topics. Uh, so companies are not only focused on financials, but also uh, they start really to, uh, to take care on sustainability. Uh, so uh, what we do is, for example, is we help manufacturers, right, to uh, manufacturers to uh, to produce products, to produce goods uh, in a more efficient but also sustainable uh, way. We help companies to do a better transportation. We can help them, and we help them reduce the carbon footprint right, when doing transportation, for example, to from Europe to uh, to the Americas, right? Uh, we work with uh, utilities companies. We work with construction companies. I mean, uh, there is a lot of uh, different. Uh, 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 challenges uh, around uh, around this. So, let me share with you the first story, which is one of my of my favorites. So, <clears throat> you know, uh, bringing electricity through conventional power networks to isolated areas in Mexico and Peru is not economically viable. Uh, so, this is why Acciona Microenergía, which is one of our clients, helps families in Mexico and Peru uh, bringing electricity through uh, photovoltaic systems. And the photovoltaic system is quite simple. In this case, it's just a solar panel, our controller, and a battery. In this case, it's a lead battery. Acciona challenge us, challenge us to find a solution, to find or develop a solution in order, in order to monitor the charge status of the real charge status of lead batteries, right? And uh, the challenge was not just to, to be able to, to monitor that, but also to find a solution that was very low cost, uh, because uh, a lead battery is around $200, uh, so very low cost, but also uh, very low consumption, right? And then, well, we, we set up a, a competition uh, in our platform, and then we, we found a, a lot of solutions coming from different countries. We had commercial solutions, and we had also very bright people uh, that were coming with solutions. We found two solutions, uh, two solutions that solved this challenge. 
The one is uh, from this uh, guy that you can see uh, here uh, on the right, huh? and um, in fact, uh, this uh, this is uh, well, this is a Spanish guy that was studying in Sweden that had to do a similar project, you know, in Nicaragua. Huh? And as you can see in these pictures, huh, he he was really, you know, uh, finalizing, let's say, uh, the, the this kind of project. But the winner, the winner came from a, a different person. Uh, he's, a, he's an engineer, an electronic engineer from uh, the east of uh, France, in this case, that had developed a similar system for his, uh, well, for his uh, home, for his personal use, uh, but also was adapting uh, a kind of an electronic card in order to monitor uh, also the battery of uh, aero modeling. And you know, when, uh, if, if you like aero modeling and then you are driving a, you know, a kind of a, playing like this, right? If you are out of battery, then you might have a real challenge. Huh? The, the plane will not come back, right? So um, he, uh, well, yeah, he, he uh, de developed a solution uh, uh, that is around 50 components, is very small, uh, together with an, uh, an, an app in order to, uh, well, to, uh, to, to monitor uh, real the, 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 well, the, the, the battery, the, the battery, the charged battery, and then to ensure that the battery, the battery life uh, gets longer and uh, gets longer. Okay, so, well, uh, uh, engineering challenge uh, solve uh, deliver, right? So, second is about uh, is about uh, water recovery. Uh, so, you know that water uh, is a big challenge in the world, right? And uh, again, there are many industries, and in this particular case, plasterboard manufacturing, that they are they are taking care about this. And you know, uh, manufacturing uh, plasterboard, uh, which is used in many buildings, uh, is very is very intensive, uh, very intensive in water uh, consumption. Right? Uh, this is uh, what you can see here is a factory uh, that uh, consumes uh, approximately uh, 40 uh, 40 cube meters of uh, water uh, every hour. Uh, every hour. Uh, so this is this is around uh, 200,000 uh, cube meters, uh, which is a lot of liters uh, uh, every every year. Right. And um, what is interesting is that uh, his CEO uh, was arriving every day to the to the factory. You know, and was looking, and he was seeing how you know the water steam uh, was uh, was uh, being thrown to the to the atmosphere, right? And then the challenge was really to say, hey, how how can I recover water, right? I am spending a lot of money as well, you know, but I am creating an impact in the environment, right? So, um, well, we uh, again we, we we launched the challenge, um, and uh, we described the process. We described the manufacturing process with all the conditions about uh, well water steam temperatures, uh, about uh, well. Uh, in general, all the equipments that they had. And we had a really amazing participation. Energy challenges attract a lot of, a lot of engineers, right? We have really amazing participation from uh, all over the world. Uh, we, we had uh, uh, people, we have also some companies uh, that uh, were trying to solve uh, the challenge. And, uh, well, uh, the wonderful thing is that uh, we were able to, let's say, scout the market and the industries in order to get different solutions. Solutions that come, for example, from the sugar uh, manufacturing uh, with uh, barometric condensers. We had solutions uh, with uh, cooling towers. Uh, that comes from other industries like uh, uh, steel manufacturing. We had solutions coming from the, the, the northern countries uh, that use uh, geothermy, um, or even, uh, let's say, uh, well, other kinds of solutions that are used for distillation and so on. Uh, so uh, many solutions are used today in the market. Uh, there is also a lot of uh, technical progress around this, right? Uh, so we were very, very fast in order to uh, bring those solutions to the table, solutions that were that were feasible, that were really, let's say, uh, solving the problem. And again, uh, we, we found two winners. Uh, we found two winners uh, and uh, that were uh, able to reduce the payback of uh, such solution up to three years, three years and a half. You know, before that, some engineering companies had come to this, to, to Platour, you know, to this uh, company in order to propose their solutions. They were pushing, you know, for what they had, right? Our approach is totally the opposite, right? We, we put the challenge in the middle to have people bring solutions and solve and solve the challenge. And then we make it, uh, we make it uh, feasible. Okay, so 
Well, this is about uh, specific challenges, right? But uh, companies, they have sustainability agendas, right? So how do we do that? Well, at the end, what we know is that uh, we can solve challenges when they are very specific, you know, when, uh, when they are like uh, engineering projects, right? We, we cannot throw out, you know, to the, to the crowd something which is, I don't know, solving a big problem, right? We have to be very specific. So what we do is we work with companies in order to break down big challenges into a smaller ones, right? And then, and then we solve them. We solve them. We do prototyping. You know, we uh, we we uh, bring things uh, into into real into real life. Okay. So, well, if uh, you need to solve any challenge, uh, you know uh, where we are. Uh, this is uh, animotive.com. Or uh, obviously, if you don't have any challenge, we are also happy. We are also happy to to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm happy to uh, receive any questions about. Uh... How did you find can, can you take a microphone just so we can wire it? How did you attract the 4,000 engineers to your platform? Yeah, well, the, <clears throat> our our community, our community is a, a very diverse community. Uh, we have engineers, but also we have some, for example, some companies or even tech centers. Uh, but uh, let's say that uh, attracting people depending on, I mean, people have different motivations, right? So uh, if you have, for example, a freelance, right? It's quite obvious that they want to show your skills. They want to connect with companies. Uh, so this is a very nice opportunity for them, right? If you have engineers working for other companies, which is the case, is 35% of our communities are engineers that are working, you know, in other companies. Well, this is more uh, about, you know, let's say a personal motivation, a personal motivation. People like, people really like to, to get out of daily, you know, work routine and so on. They, they, want, to, they want to learn, you know, what's happening out there. Huh? And they want also to improve their employability. Right, so this is a very good way to keep up, you know, to technology speed and so on, and to well, and to uh, and to make uh, yourself known, uh, yourself known. Uh, so, okay. okay. Um, Aza, can you give the? Oh, maybe she's down. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Very interesting. Uh, I wanted to know if. It works in a way that you might come up with a challenge, uh, get some results, and then go sell them directly to some clients or government or so on? Or does it work in a way that the client comes to you and uh, he says, OK, this is my challenge, and I want to solve this problem? So yeah, okay. Or both well, that, ways, maybe. That's very, a that's very, very good question. So in fact, uh, well, uh, uh, as of today, as of today, we have been introducing our company to, to our company, you know, to different clients. Uh, so we have, we have been a, we, we have been forced, let's say, to, well, to, to create some awareness, right? Because uh, we are quite new, right? And the motive uh, is, is not so known uh, so far. Um, but uh, yeah, 95% 90, of the challenges uh, are from companies. Uh, the, the only exception is uh, one challenge that is a big challenge, let's say, that we have launched ourselves because no one uh, was uh, was uh, ready, let's say, to launch uh, for different uh, for different reasons. Yes, but most of the challenges comes from from companies from companies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? No. Great, Enrique. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Is a little cool. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay.